Welcome, welcome, guys. We're back at it today with the Evercade Retro Handheld. I did a video on this. Um, got a little pre-release, pre-production like review unit. Gave my uh, impressions on that. Take a look at that video if you get a chance. But today, we're going to be hanging out, playing one of the cartridges. So I believe, what was there, 10 cartridges at launch coming up next month? I have all 10 of them, and I figured I'm going to do some content trying to focus on each cartridge. And a stream is like, you know... A good way to do that, right? <laughs> so let me see who's up in the stream. Um, how many people are hanging out with me tonight? A little earlier than usual. I know Robo Mezzer owner was uh, first up in here again. Appreciate it, man. Brad White Wolf, Ghost Chaser, Ryan A Gamers, Neo Severa, Matthew Nix. What up? Oh snap! S Columbus pre-ordered this as well. Pico Collection looks awesome. Um, so far, I have some favorites. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've got some favorites when it comes to these cartridges. So uh, not all the cartridges are going to be for everybody, obviously. But even with some of the other ones they've announced, the uh, uh, the Atari Lynx collection. Oh, snap. That's what I'm talking about. Atari Lynx needs to get some love. Um, and then the Tanglewood uh, Zeno Crisis cartridge. Man, that was uh, that was uh, pretty cool. So can't wait for those. But today it's gonna be <laughs> the Mega Cat cart. So I did a a quick like little video. I'm gonna overlay it, um, showcasing the case, the cartridge, and the manual. Yeah, all these damn things, um, you know, come with with a with a manual. My right away book by its cover review. What? I don't know what the hell that means, but okay. Um, I'm enjoying this thing. I know it's not for everybody. Uh, there's tons of options out there, but I really do dig the Evercade Retro Handheld. I think it is a neat device. Not perfect. I did have some uh, issues in my review, if you want to take a look at that. But I'm going to bring up, just real quick, just real quick, uh, just showcasing the case, the uh, booklet, and the cartridge, just so everybody could see that. Uh, you got 10 games on this one. Uh, really cool stuff. I, have, I, I don't have a lot of experience with the Mega Cat games. I'd always seen them and was like, dude, I got I to gotta play some of these games. So these are like all newer games, newer retro games on the Mega Cat collection. So there's that. Lynx was awesome. Lynx was definitely awesome. But I think the, the neat thing is, you know, it's a little, it's a little manual. It's nothing crazy, but it's still cool to have a freaking manual to look at. Yeah, I, I like having a manual. It tells you all the directions, gives you a little snippet about the game, talks about the company, um, you know, the release and all that. Yeah, it gives you information for each game, right? Yeah, I think the uh, the boxes and manuals are definitely a neat thing. Definitely neat. And you get to the... Uh, the end of there, and it's, uh, you know, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's the booklet, the box, and the cartridge. I've got this plugged in. Uh, you can play this handheld, or you could play it plugged into a HD source and start playing some games. So that's the way we're doing it. We're playing some games. I'm looking at my monitor here, trying to get things straightened up. Um, so we can, you know, play our games on our TV. I, I have an idea. I'm pretty damn sure these guys are eventually going to do a console that plays the Evercade carts. I think that would be cool. I don't really play this on my TV um, because I don't really like having a handheld plugged into a cord to a TV. Uh, it works. Some people, it might be cool. That's not the way I use this thing. I've played it quite a bit in handheld mode. No, that, was about, uh, that was about it. This is like the second time I've plugged it into HD TV. So I have that feeling. I'm pretty damn sure they're going to make a console. Uh, where you can do like two players and all that good stuff. So let's see. Uh, the Evercade is awesome. Best handheld ever. Um, I don't say everyone should get one. I mean, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not going to say everybody's got to get one. If you're interested, 
take a look a little further, a little deeper, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start this off playing some games. I think if we hit... Oh, I thought we could... Oh, the menu button. I wasn't hitting the menu button. So if you hit the menu button, let's go back to the beginning here. Um, there's no music or anything on the background, but if you hit the menu button on the system, uh, you can change the screen ratio, turn audio off and on for the menu. And that's it. Nothing, nothing crazy here. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into that game. Let me know how the audio is if we have any issues. Yeah, Salamander was fun. I I, I do want to play some more Salamander on the uh, Turbo Graphics 16. Aaron Clegg, what up, man? Uh, Ryan A's Gamer, can I tell you my most recent gaming disappointment in gaming was when Mario on Switch was released without a manual and then released a special edition with one. Uh, those were like holiday bundles, weren't they? So we're going to test out Almost Hero 2016 Mega Cat Studios, so a fairly recent release. Uh, this is Om Omosai, the bonsai capital of the world. We're going to play each of these games. There's like 10 games here. This is Chao Khan. This is what Chao does for a living. He sells holiday-themed bonsai trees. Okay. Training has prepared you for this. We have to get more bonsai seeds. All right, homie. Oh. I don't want to buy anything. I just want to punch that guy. This on Soldier Boy Multicart. <laughs> to the dojo, to the sewer. Let's go to the sewer. Woohoo! Woo Appreciate the subscription. Oh my god. Alright, we're, we're going to play these games, each one a little bit. Kind of check them out. Um, there's a variety of stuff here. Like, uh, you know, this is like an NES game. Kind of like... Uh, Double Dragon, maybe kind of combined with some other things. Let's go to the dojo this time. What the hell is this? Uh, but there's going to be like some Sega Genesis stuff on here that's really neat. This game's definitely not one of my favorites that are on this. There's a few really cool games, but just want to get a little taste for each one. Yeah, this one's a bitch, man. It's like... Like, trading blows with an enemy like this, it's kind of wonky, dude. Like, just die. There's no game sound? Or is it just, like, really low? It's, like, really low. Let me turn it up on... Okay, it was, it was low on... Oh. It was low on the system. I had the volume down on the system. But there we go. We're back up. Let me know. Let me know how it sounds. We're back up. But okay, let's uh let's let's try this again. This game is is definitely like bullshit with these uh enemies, man. It's like Hmm. I feel like I have to get this turtle shell and throw it at their asses. Come on, bitch. I'm not gonna play this one for very long. This one's, like I said, not not one of my favorites. But it's it's not a it's not a bad game. It's just there's so many other games on here that are a lot better. But what's up, game beaters? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Press both of the uh, the A and B buttons. Do a little drop kick. Huh. Punch him in the nuts. Turtle shell. What the fuck is this, Mario? I know, right? Oh, this is a boombox. Huh. Cool. Like, you really want to utilize mm, that shit, man. Oh, that was almost hero. I'm not going to dwell on that one. Like I said, there's so many other games on here I think are a lot better. Um, this is an all right game. I know some people enjoy it, but for me, it's 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 not a big one. Uh, Creepy Brawlers is an interesting one. We'll go ahead and play that for a minute. 
does it play to ROMs? Uh, Neo Severa, I'm not sure yet if this plays them their ROMs. I would think maybe at some point somebody will figure it out, but you know, when it's out there, when it's out there for people. Dragon Sword Gaming, what up? Rich Retro, what up? All right, let's uh, let's go. Smash Club, what up? Use tutorial. No, I don't need the tutorial. So this is like uh, this is like Punch Out, but with like movie monster type dudes, right? I'm not really good at this game, but it, it is it is pretty fun. I mean, I still prefer Mike Tyson's Punch Out, but hate it. Mix some things up. Screw it. Rich Retro just beat Resident Evil 3. I haven't even I haven't even opened up my copy of Resident Evil 2 remake yet. <laughs> I, I got to get around to that. I do want to play 3. I know it's a fairly short game. Come on. What the hell is that? Huh. You'll you'll see the uh the uh the really awesome games in the second. Or the games I think are awesome. I think these first two games are okay. This one's okay. I've played. I have played this one before. Um, but it's a you know it's an NES game. So oh shit, he got me. But like I said, my purpose of doing these videos and like the streams is I just want to kind of showcase each cartridge. Um, I keep falling for that. Like, how do I... I want to showcase each cartridge and give, you know, kind of my impressions, that kind of thing, so people get an idea of what these guys are offering. Fernando Garcia, what's up? Yeah, this is like a punch-out uh, <laughs> knock... A punch-out knockoff, right? It's a... Yeah, like with movie monsters. Kind of interesting. Like I said, I still prefer punch-out. I mean, I would pick punch-out over this game any day, but it's still kind of... Still kind of fun. Oh, God, his ass. Punch him right in the nuts. I don't feel like I'm punching him in the, the stomach. I feel like I'm, I'm like, doing some low blows. Getting him, get him right in the, the bean bag. Little speed bags right there. Ah, that's it, man. He got me. This game, this game, the, the, uh, the handheld. All right, we're going to get out of that. I don't, I don't want to mess that. This has, uh, HDMI, HDMI out. So that was Creepy Brawlers, 2017, Punch-Out clone, you know. The um, Aaron Clegg, I think that the handheld does feel good in my hands. I just, I know I said this in my video that it feels fine. My hands got curved edges and everything. It's like nothing sharp where it's gonna annoy your hands. But I kind of wish it had the little butt cheeks on the back of the, the system. Like it would have felt a little uh, nicer, but doesn't feel too bad. Coffee Crisis, 2017. Brawler. This is Sega Genesis game, so we're gonna go ahead and get into that. This one I kinda... I've played it a little bit. Punch that dude in his stomach when he does his special. Yeah, that was probably it, man. I have to, have to try that out again later. Gotta have them butt cheeks, man. So we get to pick between Nick or Ashley here. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ashley. We gotta go with Ashley. Not so long ago in a galaxy close to us. The evil Smurglian race has taken notice of Earth's wide web and has begun stealing Wi-Fi. That's bullshit, man. You gotta stop. SJW man bun fighter. Did I just like lose audio? I feel like I, I'm not getting any sound in this game. What the hell happened? I got audio now. I didn't have audio. 
I didn't have audio the first time I went into the game. All right, let's, uh, now I got audio. I was like, why is this so quiet? I, I remember playing this a little bit before and I don't remember it being a quiet ass game. Little technical difficulties, but now, now, I, now I hear sound. Do you guys hear sound? It shows that you hear sound, but okay. All right, I don't, okay, I didn't know what the buttons were. What is that, Lee? The hell is that? Okay. When does this release? Next month. Oops. Um, April, May 22nd, I believe it is. I have links in the description for the different regions where it's being released. But okay, let me, let me, let me bash these fools. They got manhole shadows. <laughs> yeah. I swear the one button did something. Two Bama is the, uh, <laughs> the code. Close, save the world. Let's, 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 let's do this. I don't even want to read all this. I just want to. I just want to fight some, some aliens. Oh shit. Was that an old dude? Hmm, get out of here. <laughs> has the giveaway ended yet? No, it has not. I believe it's through tomorrow. For the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. The link for that is on my TurboGrafx-16 Mini review. I believe that ends either tonight at midnight or tomorrow. I, I got to double check. But it's... It, it ends tomorrow, the latest. Yeah, we're using a coffee cup to hit people. Coffee crisis. Thought I could like pick that up or something. Where the hell do you think you're going? I guess if I would have read the story, like I would have found out like these people are like possessed or something. Huh. I know there's there is uh, two Atari uh, collection carts. I don't remember what's on them though. Yeah, that alien just he just said forget that noise. I'm out. Come here, Grandpa. So much for social distancing here. What am I using as the controller? The Evercade itself. That's the only way you can do it right now. Like I said earlier, I I pretty much uh, full. have a feeling that they're going to release a console with controllers later, but I don't know. I'm sure they will. They've kind of they've kind of hinted at that. Dang, dude, we're just like freaking grandma over here with their walker. Dude, I'm getting, I'm getting like tore up here. Give me that. They all getting beamed up. Yeah. The hell is he? Huh? When, since when can aliens freaking Hadouken? That's bullshit, man. <laughs> Everyone's an alien. I didn't listen to the freaking or didn't read the um. I thought I could pick that thing up. Well, we we might we might revisit this. You do have save states, so we went ahead and save stated that. Maybe we'll come back to it. But we got ten games here, so we gotta we gotta continue. We gotta continue on Justice Duel. I don't know. I don't think I've played this one yet. Michael Adams, what up? Justice Duel 2019. This is another 8 bit platformer, so an NES style game. 
Mega Cat Studios. Let's do this. After the smashing success of New World AI vacations and theme parks, genetically modified Eagle Jockey Woods, now is your chance to take part in this exciting patriotic extravaganza. I couldn't even read all the previous one, man. The Eagles are saddled and ready to flap. So I'm sure you guys could figure out what this is a clone of. <sighs> I guess I'm going to be Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Known as the father of the new world. Or political party. New world. Okay, whatever. I don't care about his backstory. Let's just get into the game. Wave one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Laser eyes. That's right. T2 Abe Lincoln. Got him. Joust, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of these games have, uh, have inspirations drawn from other games, right? Oh, this, this, this full shoots too? Oh, shit. <sighs> Wave four. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I'm about to I'm about to lose. Oh man, we got him. Lincoln riding on an eagle. What's more patriotic than that? <laughs> IVW, what up? Floating zombies, yeah. Oh shit. FO was coming Is he like a boss or something? Uh Oh, that bastard got me. Oh, little hearts. Okay. <laughs> this would make a good game for President's Day. Game Beaters, there you go. You got a video. <laughs> Castlemania Games, what up? Okay, at least the, the background changed. Oh my god. What is that? Oh shit, that was like a one-time use weapon. Read my post on Twitter about the fines for not wearing masks? Yeah. E.T. finna pop out the smug, y'all. What? John C., what's up? Alright, wave, what, what are we on? Wave 7? Okay. How many games have we played so far? Like four? Three or four? This is the fourth one, I think. Oh, shit. Oh. I, so far out of the ones we've played, this, uh, uh I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite. So far, so far. There's a there's few games on here that are extremely well polished. That's uh, freaking amazing in my opinion, but so far I like this one the best out of what we've played. I love Joust and I love like balloon fight, so I, I I like these these style of games. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh shit. Hmm. Can you link the system with another? No, missed opportunity. In, in all honesty, I wish they would have done that. But like I said, I know they're gonna put out a console. I know they're gonna put out a console two players. They left the games that are on these cartridges still with two player enabled just for that purpose. Cause I know they're gonna, I don't think they've officially said they're releasing the console, but I, I'm sure eventually they will. And it'll use these same cartridges. Like that is kind of, that definitely is a, a missed opportunity not being able to link 
two consoles together or two of these handhelds or having like a controller port would have been cool. Um, having a controller port like on this, I mean, then it would like kind of make it. Did I just like, oh, I just reset the system. Son of a bitch. I reset the system, y'all. Mm. Bastard. What the hell happened? Oh, okay, now my... <laughs> what the hell happened? Oh, God. My bad. Getting a little too anxious. Why is it not... Okay. What the hell happened? We can't play that way. <laughs> All right, I got to unplug this and, and, and redo. Fuck, dude. Now I lost my train of thought. Oh my God, and I was getting into it. I was getting into it. Come on. Okay, there we go. I was like, what the hell, man? I reset it. I reset it, and then it just wanted to show a little tiny screen. Oh, man. All right, let me see if... The sound loss, I don't know what that was. Um... Yeah, removing the HDMI resets it. And I didn't hit the that. At least I don't think. Like, I have the HDMI, like, firmly in there. Um, I prefer using this in handheld mode. I don't like using it on my TV. Um, but I, I have to do it this way to showcase it. That game was cool, man. I wish it wouldn't have freaking reset there. This game, Log Jammers, is cool, too. But holy crap, is it difficult. It's like Wind Jammers. Think anyone will mod this? I'm pretty damn sure they will. Does this thing only accept special carts? Yeah, as of now, that's all it accepts. Is the carts that they sell for it. Log jammers. Like wind jammers. But man. Alright, let's get into this one. I don't even know who I want to play as. I'm going to play as Hotfoot Francis. Axe Greetment. Okay. <laughs> it's like... Ah. I'm so bad at this game. Like, I feel like... I feel like the, uh... The AI... Is just like... So much faster. I can't keep up. Oh my god. Does the Evercade have an SD card slot? No, it does not. See, I'm just, I'm so bad at this game. I, I gotta see, like, if other people have played this, if they're as bad as I am, because I'm freaking. I'm freaking horrible. Oh, fine. Finally, I. I gotta try this one more time. Get good, son. Shut up. <laughs> Let's go to the tournament. Let's go. Like you gotta mm, trick him. You gotta trick them real good. And I can't. I 
can't do it. I won that that oh my god. Oh my god, I, I won that set. Amazing. Oh, I swear that went in. Hmm. <laughs> the AI is on crack for sure. I can't believe I won one set. Part of you always knew I was going to win. Shut up, Hotfoot Francis. All right, we're out of that one. God. That game is, is freaking is a bitch. Little Medusa. A lot of people enjoy this one. <laughs> What's my thoughts on the PS5 controller? I don't really like the uh, color scheme to it, but it looks, looks intriguing, I guess. Let's play some Little Medusa. Look at that. Look at that intro. And to play that game and to be able to, like be on the forefront of knowing what the hell the AI is going to do. You got to be on some like next level shit. All right. Let me see if I remember how to play this. No, obviously I don't. start over from the first level. Start from the first level. Yeah, I'm drinking a Corona. What of it? <laughs> That's Mike Wazowski kicking around. All right. There we go. Jeff DeMarco, appreciate the subscription, man. All right, level two, instead of jumping ahead. Tippernet, what up?
Get the hell out of here with that. Oh shit. Secudino Cor Coronado, what up? Probably butchered that name, but what up? Try that again. Why did <sighs> those stupid snakes, man? All right, there we go. Gotta really watch for these freaking the hell out of here. Man. Confederate gamer, what up my friend? Regards from the Netherlands. Yeah, how how's a snake gonna petrify Medosa? Are the same number of games on each cart? No, they're not. Some have more than others. Like this one has 10 games. Some have like 20. Um there's a few. Okay, so this this one's kind of a... Like how? Wait, I don't understand this 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 level. Wait, wait, wait. How do I? How the hell do you get it over there? The first 10 carts all release on the launch of this handheld. Um, and then there's a few more coming out after that without. Um, oh my god, I'm a fool. It's a lot. It's a lot easier than than I'm making it out to be. I think. Adventures of Lolo was a game that I remember renting all the time. I, I really, en I did enjoy it, but it was like, I don't know, a long time ago. Hey, right, come on. Come on, fool. There we go. We deed it. God. Little Medusa. So now we're on water 1-4. Level 4. Oi, where are the... Uh... Oh, I died as soon as I hit him. That sucks. Strictly carts, no downloads. That's correct. Okay. Ah! Okay, we're going to go to the next game. This game is cool, but... I mean, kind of sucking at that. 
What is this one? What do we got? Okay, so far, what have we played? We started with Almost Hero, which uh, some people are gonna enjoy. I don't really care for this game that much. Creepy Brawlers is okay. It's a pretty cool game. It's all right. Um, Coffee Crisis is a neat one. Justice Duel so far has been one of my favorites. And then uh, we played Log Jammers, which is ridiculous. Am I stoned? No, I do not do anything that would get me stoned. Uh, and then Little Medusa is a cool game too. Now we're going to check out Multi Dude. We have Multi Dude left, Old Towers, Super Painter, and Tanzer. Some really interesting ones here. Let's get into Multi Dude. Bone, what's up? Greetings from the East Coast. Appreciate you stopping in, man. Maurice Bunworth. Love your content. Appreciate that, man. Timothy White, damn snakes. That's that's right, man. The Tanser is a, a legit game. Like I said some of these games, it's, it's it's a collection of games, so I don't think everybody's gonna like every game on each cartridge. Um, some maybe. Like some people might be like really into Atari and really love the Atari stuff. My favorite, one of my favorite carts is the uh, Technos cart. Um, Confederate Gamer, yeah, Nintendo took care of that. Uh, yesterday I got notification that they refunded everything. Mixo, that's my, my thing with this. I, I like it because there's some, you know, it has carts. It's not like I'm overwhelmed with a bunch of shit. It's like, you know, I got games to play, man. Just play some games. And a neat little handheld. Oh, I'm like, what's going on here? How much does cartridge cost? They're twenty dollars each. Oh. Why did I do that? Ah, uh, you have to do it with so many moves. Uh, I screwed that one up. Where's my cash? What up? Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Does that make sense? Am I doing this like wrong? Oh, I'm an idiot. I was like looking at it like you couldn't. Okay, you fill those boxes when you walk around. I wasn't looking at it like you could go around. Wait, what the hell am I supposed to do? The controls are fine, um, but like I brought up previously, um, there's some things like with the way the control layout is. No, I was supposed to like dig down um, with the A and B button being reversed. You kind of get got to get used to that. Oh, why did I... Did I get CPS on Mr. yet? No, I've not. Let me play this a little further. Alright. This is... This is interesting. This next one. Okay. Huh. 
Huh. Code 5, appreciate it. This is, uh, this is interesting. You gotta really... Pay attention to what you're doing here. Okay. Okay. Okay, you gotta sit here and think for a second, man. Dogimon83, what do you think of them bringing Nokia Engage game collections to this thing? Hey, the more the merrier, the more options the better, but was there anything worthwhile on the Engage? I remember always looking at the Engage. And like, um, what you call it, uh, back in the day in like GameStop and I was always intrigued, but I, I never bought into it. I never tried it, but I do appreciate that Dogimon 83. Interesting. I'm going to have to look up the end gauge, like. I wonder if you could what buy them cheap and them still get games for them. Game I'd be curious to try one out. Alright, what is it I'm supposed to do here? Hmm. You can get N-Gages today from a guy in Russia with the one gigabyte MMMC with the entire library on it. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. <laughs> For like 80 bucks? I would pay 80 bucks for that. I mean, should I? I mean, I don't know. Ashen for Engage, exclusive to this day. That's nuts, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What am I supposed to do here? What am I... Am I supposed to float the guys around and have the guy in the middle? Appreciate that, Dogimon. I'm gonna have to look into that stuff. What am I supposed to... Engage had Metal Gear, Tony Hawk, Call of Duty. That is interesting. Yeah, somebody's gotta send me a link for that, dude. I'll order one right, right freaking now. Oh, I see he's selling, um, he's selling a memory card for 85 bucks, $15 shipping, $100, just a memory card. I don't, I just see it's like, it's shipping with like a bunch of the games. Like you have to, you have to buy a, you have to buy the N-Gage. I'm, I'm curious on this uh, this one that I'm looking at right now. Like, I just see people selling, like, cards to boot up on the end gauge. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to look into that further. But what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to, like, float this guy down? I, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Right? Right? Float his ass down.
I can't like walk him over there, can I? Probably not. I'm gonna look more into the end gauge stuff later. But that does sound uh, interesting. I, I wouldn't pay a hundred dollars for a memory card though. I, I don't know. This this one is interesting. It's a thinker, man. This one's a this one's a thinker. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> okay. Huh. I, I I think I I think I have like an idea of what I'm supposed to do. What the hell am I supposed to do? Juan Torres, what up? Oh wait, what am I? Okay, well I pushed that one down, I'm... Hmm... Why haven't I made a video on the PS5 controller? I don't know. This guy gives the dude a ride? Okay. He didn't do shit. He just stands there. Why is it that... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do on this one. What are you supposed to do? It's like, it makes me think that's what I'm supposed to do, but... Okay, hold on. Okay, I, I get it now. I get it. I get it. But only this dude... Does he die if he falls? Only this dude can push down the block. I, I get it. Ah, son of a bitch. Makes you think, man. You gotta, you gotta think about this game. But now I screwed up because I left that guy in the front, huh? And he can't push the damn block. Mmm. All right, I gotta restart that one. I got two lives left here. Oh, I didn't mean to hit select. Damn it! I keep hitting selecting, and I'm supposed to hit select to to move the guys, but you you give up and you lose a life. This guy should be right here. This guy goes right here. This guy goes right here. My little brain ain't, ain't working that great. DJ Miggy, what up? The Mr. Dan Stan. I got mine from a guy on eBay. Up the price to a certain. He's a nice guy and willing to make a library of games based on what you want. I'll have to look at it a little further. What the hell do these little dudes do? Nothing? Oh shit. 
I just jumped in the pit. Like a dumbass. Oh my god. Alright, let's uh That that's a fun one. That's that's one of the best ones. That's one of the best games on here so far. Did I No I didn't. I thought I reset the system for a second. Um Yeah, Matt Myers, definitely. It's a good one for uh, getting those brain juices flowing. Mixo, I'm playing it on a 27-inch curved monitor. I have two monitors, so I have my game right here, and it's like two feet away from my face. And then I have um, my second monitor up here. It's on a stand, so it's like like a foot and a half elevated off the table here. Um, Matt Weaver, everything's been fine, man. But, yeah. Take it, DJ Mickey, taking a break from Raging at Neo 2. I've, been, I've, I've watched a couple people play that, and I was like, oh, man. That's the kind of game that'll uh, mess with me. All right, what do we have left? We have Old Towers, which is a pretty good one. I dig that one. We have Super Painter and Tanser. So let's do Old Towers. This is a good one. I've played this a bit. Should give a behind the scenes look at your setup. I'm in a garage, bro. Ghost Ghost Chaser, link sent. Where'd you send the link? Where's that link? Where'd you send it? This one's got a nice little soundtrack too. Yeah, it's got a nice little. That's a cool game too. This is a thinker too. A little bit. This one's a little bit of a thinker, too. I'm trying to figure out what, uh... <laughs> oh, did you DM me? Did you DM me or something? Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, bro. All right, let's jump into this. Let's do this. This one's got a nice little soundtrack going for it. It's another puzzler here. Yeah, this one's got some cool music. Progressively more difficult. Progressively more, uh, crazy. This was, um, why can't I think of the name? I just, it's Old Towers. Still gotta get these though. Oh, I gotta. There we go. Okay. We're good. Don't rush it. It's not skipping for me. It's possible that it could be. Um. Nah, oh, did I fuck up?
Did I screw up? Yeah, I did, right? Alright, let's try this again. Oh, why did I do that? Damn it. All right. It's a bit glitchy on your end. It's not glitchy on my end. That's kind of strange. I'm going to lower it a little bit. It might be just bumping too much that it's skipping on, on your end, but on my end, it sounds fine. I thought like I couldn't hit those spikes at first. I thought that was what the uh, issue was. That's why I was approaching it differently. I wasn't thinking, this is old towers. Don't get claimed. I'm always getting claimed on these streams, man. Bunch of boo-boo-ness. Oh, oh. Barely freaking missed that. Only the pointy per part hurts. I didn't realize that. I thought if I just hit the side. What's the story behind thumb butts? I don't remember. It's from some some video. Talk. I I don't even remember, man. It just stuck. I, I get stuck on stupid shit, and then I just say it all the time. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember what that, what video, it was from a video though. I said it for some reason and then it just stuck. Okay, I gotta like take it easy, man. I do got to do some more Mr. Stuff soon, man. There we go. Uh, Jarvie Rocks. This is the Evercade. Um, they're doing retro stuff and new retro inspired stuff. So it just depends on who they get licensed from. All that, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Cleared the stage? I didn't even realize it. The song's called Popcorn. Ah, oh, why'd I do that? So I'm, I'm probably gonna get claimed for playing this game, I'm assuming. Oh, there's another dude up here. go maybe 
I hope not, but we'll find out later. Ah! Well, it's game over anyway, so let's quit this game. Move on to the next Super Painter 8-bit platformer. Um, and then we got Tancer. Last but not least, so we got two more games on this 10-game cartridge collection for the Evercade Mega Cat Studios Collection 1. It could be a collection, too. Mixo. Yeah, I would stream uh, the Dreamcast. I was actually thinking about it, but I've been meaning to do more videos than Evercade, and I just had so much other stuff come up. We all need to write Susan from the YouTubes and ask, what else are we supposed to do with our time? Stick our fingers in our ass? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, it is kind of like whenever I stream and I get these damn um, copyright claims, it's frustrating, man. It's really frustrating. What am I drinking? Corona Premier. Going to get harder to find since the, uh, the, the factories are shut down. Super Painter. Why do I have a feeling it's going to be similar to these other games? Oh shit, you weren't supposed to do that. Okay. I got it. It's like these other puzzle games we're playing. So this is, uh... Oh, get out of here. Uh, oh shit, you gotta be fast. You gotta be fast. Beer is an essential service, but Mexico... They, um... They shut down their their uh, factory. I'm scared. I don't want to like. I don't want to risk it. But Shauna Pharrell, what up? So maybe that song's just like everybody uses it. Oh shit! Get up there. I thought it was just over as soon as I painted all the floors, but I guess not. See, this is scary because then I don't know where the, um, I don't know where the door pops up. Oh shit, it's all the way down there. Okay, we did it. We did it. Cookie Z, what up? Oh, we, we can jump. We can jump. So can we like jump over these fools? Jarvy Rocks comes out May 22nd. Oh, I tried I tried leaping over these bastards. That didn't work. I mean it kinda worked. So it's like You just have to touch them. You don't have to. So you don't even have to walk over them. Chef Dave, what up? Now, I'm willing to bet the door is going to be in the middle of that, that middle thing. The knockoff works. That's what I've been hearing. A lot of people just dig the um, using the clone. I have an original, but I mean, if I couldn't get an original one, I would just buy a clone. Oh, do we got to paint this too? Yeah, we do. All right, this is an interesting one. It's a little, little bit of a, a little bit of a thinker. What are we supposed to do on that side? Okay. Okay, I get it. Hmm. Well, it's just this one cartridge. Yeah, there's a few puzzlers. There's a few puzzle games here. Wait, how did I... How 
how did I... How did I hit... Yeah, you could jump over him, but it's kind of a bitch. Okay. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Top ladder, then jump. But you can't, like, stand on the... Oh, yeah. There you go. That makes sense now, Timothy White. There you go. Now we got this this time, I think. Still kind of a bitch, those guys walking past each other. All right. Here we go. Nothing to lose. Oh, barely, barely made it. Justin Weedrick, uh, I believe so. Yeah, the uh, Evercade Retro handheld. That, yeah, I had 10 cartridges for it, but I didn't show like every cartridge. So what is it, like, this green shit on the side? You can... Mmm. Almost. 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 Fuck. <sighs> Drama alert, yo. Damn, this thing freaking reset. It reset on me. Second time it reset on me. And now it's a little screen again. Oh my god. Freaking thing, dude. Oh my god. Such a freaking... Such a little freaking pain in the ass, man. I don't know how the hell that happened again. I don't think my battery's almost, uh... <sighs> Reset it, man. I don't know if it was because the HDMI pulled out a little bit. Battery life looks good. Battery life's not looking too bad. Can I get you to make me one of those super modded Dreamcasts? Um, we could talk about it, I guess. Can the firmware be upgraded? Um, from what I understand, I have an early firmware on this thing. Like, since this is a pre-production. Yeah, I got too into it and then shook it. That game was actually fun, but let's, uh, let's play Tanzer. Let's play Tanzer. No shaky shaky, you gotta be careful. That's why, like I said, I like playing this handheld mode. I don't really play it, um, what you call it? Connected to the TV. Yeah, this is just like a cheap uh, Amazon HDMI cable. But it didn't look like it got pulled out, but let's, uh, let's play this a little more. Will there be any more True Blue Minis? Not that I know, not that I know. I haven't seen anything yet. Drama alert for sure, man. Appreciate you popping in, dude. CPU on it could have gotten too hot. But it does, the system doesn't feel hot right now. All right, let me get used to the controls here. Hmm. Appreciate that, man. Oh, okay. All right, what do the other buttons do? 
Yeah, they did tell me that the uh, the unit that I have has like an earlier firmware, um, but I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but they said the final version has some tweaks to it that I got like an earlier one, but I, I don't know. could have been just... Um, could have just been... Uh, I nudged the HDMI or something. I don't know. trying to come in here and, and and start doing this nonsense again, man. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. This is the last game we got on here. Uh, let's go. Let's try this again. All right, let's focus this time. Let's focus. We had a drama alert asking about that Dreamcast and then some fool in here trying to uh, start typing some nonsense again, man. What's with, what's with you weirdos, man? Calm down. Yeah, this is probably one of the best games on this collection, in my opinion. I, I've played this a bit before. This can be a little... Uh, I, I, I removed him, so it's all good, man. Hmm. Uh-oh. There we go. We gotta choose. We'll go that way. Stage clear. Gives you the power of fire transmutation. Replenish some of your energy. Oh my god, like you gotta you gotta pay money to save. <laughs> it's like in-game, in-game, like like uh uh what is it with the uh the games with the real money shit, but you're using in-game money. That sucks, man. <sighs> we don't have enough money to buy anything in this in-game shop, so let's just keep keep moving forward. Wait, did we uh did we just start again? Oh, that was what did I do? The hell are these double horse headed freaky looking things? Alright, this is a different stage. I was just like, wait, this is starting too similar here. Horse heads. Use those V-Bucks. Hmm. Too bad we didn't have the 500 coins to uh <laughs> to save our game, right? Jeez. It's like a it's like a freaking um. It's not, but I was starting to think it'd be like a rogue, you know, like a little roguelike type game if you saved your money and then you just keep trying to get further to save your game. I'd be like, it's kind of, it's not the way it is. Like, how do you, how would you get that much money on the first stage? Or they not expect you to, or they just tease you. Hmm. Party hard. Lil G, no, I've not I've not heard of that one. Hmm. Maybe we should go down. Let's go down this time. Still not enough money. I 
Alright, you can aim your, your little shot. So that's cool. Was I supposed to talk to that guy? Did I just, like, kill him for no reason? Oops, just hit the menu button. What am I supposed to do? Oh. I wasted a hit. Ah, oh, shit. Frag Taster, what up, man? Appreciate you stopping in, dude. Start farming them V-Bucks. Alright, this is an interesting one, but you gotta you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention here. Let me let me let me try to pay attention this time. <laughs> oh shit. Hmm. Yeah, you, you have to start over unless you got enough coins to um uh to save. Let's say you can't backtrack, so you can't farm you can't farm the, the, the gold or whatever, the coins. There's like no farming coins here. Let's go back down again. See, like the save, save state. Next game will start here. So you gotta have enough coins to save. And I don't have enough coins. Um, J Jarvi rocks. I wonder when in television will show Earthworm Jim gameplay. That's what I need to see, man. And if I keep hearing about it, gonna be a, a, a mini game collection? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but damn, yeah, we need 500 coins to save the game. I don't know how I feel about that either, damn it. Is there any secrets up here? Like, you gotta kill everything, man. Make sure you get all them coins. Try not to get hit, either. Alright, I don't care about this guy. I'm killing his ass. I could walk on this thing. Why am I worried? Why am I giving up coins? Damn, dude. Yeah, the secret is don't die. All right. I wish that thing would have dropped some freaking coins. Hmm. Ah, no. No. This game is one that I would just keep playing over and over and over again. What are the options? Font. Story or readable? I, I would prefer to, to read. To be able to read it. Performance. Weather effect. Extra. Indecision, yeah. Um, Nintendo, Nintendo sent me a confirmation yesterday. Another Earthworm Jim platformer would be dope. Yeah, like freaking um, a sequel, or like I said, like similar to what is that Rayman Legends? Uh, 
All right. I think this this is the best game on here. This is my favorite, but it's definitely one that you gotta you gotta keep playing, man. You gotta get good. Matt Myers, appreciate you hanging out, man. Hmm. I reach far enough, I could just do that. Irving, what up? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this one again. My heart wants it to be titled Earthworm Gem 3. Yeah. This is Tanzer. We still don't have enough to save the game. <laughs> A fucking bitch, man. I'm not even bothering with the little train car. That was rather pointless. just gonna depend I mean it's not a perfect system there's a few things like if you watch my review uh, you'll see but I'm enjoying it but it's not one of those I don't think it's gonna be like one of those ones where um shit people like everybody just wants to have every single cart for it maybe collectors do mm, there was like no way around that man there was no way around that New high score. What is what does that even what does that even mean? This is Tanzer, Sega Genesis game. Interesting, but man, that is a bitch of a game. That is definitely a bitch of a game. So that was the ten games. That was the ten games. What if the price gets higher? Every level you beat. And you just can't ever buy the save the save state thing. That would be ridiculous. Well, you could say like, okay, here's the part that I'm fucking up on. Not really fucking up, but you could you could be on here. You could play the game, get to a certain point, and then just save state it. You don't even need the coins. You could just save state the game yourself. Nathan Carey, thanks for letting me know, man. <laughs> With love from India. Holy crap. I could have used the, the built-in save state instead of the uh, the save state that you have to buy. Like, why, why, why am I not thinking of that? There's save states. You hit the, main, the menu button, and you have six save states. You could choose one and save it. And save it, and then just come back to it. Oh my God, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I need to I need to get 500 coins to save my game? No, I just need to hit the menu button. 
I'm sure people were saying that from the get go when I brought that up. Like, just use the built in save state. Holy crap, man. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> but you still, like, you need to not get hit. Like, I'm sure there's got to be something to rebuild health or to regenerate health. But damn. <laughs> Unless it's that you have to save your money to, to buy like health recovery shit at the end of the stage. This, this is kind of a bizarre game, but yeah, I do like it too. Gives you the power of sound, replenishes your... Oh, so we can't use that, so it's not offering it. But okay, we can go right here, save... Or stop, I'm going to put it to slot two, though. And then hit A. Save it. Let me, let me make sure that that, like... Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure the save state worked. I hit A to confirm. Wait. Okay. Ugh. Oh, you can double jump. I don't know why I didn't go up there. Okay, it works. It works. Zeno Crisis is good. I like how when you jump, everything like moves out of the way so you could see. I mean, I guess it doesn't really need to do that, does it? I'm getting hit left and right here, man. This is an awesome game, man. This is like the my favorite one so far. I still there's like I, I, I really dig like three games on here, I think. That's it? You get one little speck of life back? That's bullshit. Damn it. You can shoot at an angle. You cannot shoot straight up or straight down. This is Tanzer. I know a lot of people keep asking. This game's called Tanzer. That was a wasted hundred coins just to get hit right away. What the fuck is that, man? Now 
No, I didn't start over. This just the next level. Yeah, it looks pretty familiar to the first level. Oh my god. Ah! Brain Buffalo. <laughs> well, we have the game saved. So that's cool. Interesting game. Interesting game. 2008, fairly recent game. 16-bit hack and slash on the Sega Genesis. <sighs> Come on, we're gamers here. You know when we get into a game, we block out everything just to beat a stage. I still try to chat it up over here, man. Yeah, a little more than a month to go for the Evercade release. It sounds like they're still on target. Um, so that's a good thing. So we'll have to see how that all works out. Ah, oh, man. Super Dimensional, what up? I'm about to, to end this stream. Um... Just wanted to highlight all these games, but I do want to... Let, let's go through them and I guess kind of rate them. This one, I, I'm not into. I, I don't care. I don't care about that one. Creepy Brawlers, okay. I would play this every once in a while. Coffee Crisis, I got to give this one another shot. I'm proto Nerb, you look hot today. What? Um... Coffee Crisis gets a thumbs up, but I'm still, I need to put more time into it. Justice Duel, I really enjoyed this one. Thumbs up, like a uh, joust, but with uh, presidents riding eagles, right? <laughs> Log Jammers, a little hardcore here, man. This game, it, it seems solid, but it's just too difficult for me, man. My old man eyes can't keep up with this. My reflexes, I don't know. Or is it just that the, the, the computer's cheating like a mofo? Man. Little Medusa. Interesting little uh, puzzler. There's a few puzzlers on here. There's a few. This one is pretty solid. This one's pretty solid. Deborah Weidner, you're a penis. Why, why thank you? Lil G? No, no none of those. None of those. Um, we, we got somebody trying to say some weird stuff after a uh, uh, drama alert Keemstar dropped by for a second to ask about the Dreamcast. Uh, and then it got a little crazy for a second. But no, everything everything else has been all right. Multi-Dude. Another, it says it's a platformer, but this is a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. But this, one's, this one gets a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, let me start from the beginning. I'm just going to go thumbs up. I'm going to go thumbs up, thumbs down, or thumb in the middle. This one, for me, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. I got to give this one, for me anyway, I got to give this one a thumbs down. This one gets a, a sideways thumb. It's kind of like, I, I don't know. It's okay, but I don't know. Coffee Crisis. I give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Justice Duel, definitely a thumbs up. I really enjoyed this one. Log Jammers is in the middle for me. Uh, it's kind of teetering. Kind of teetering because it's just too damn hard, man. CPU's a bitch. Little Medusa, thumbs up. Multi Dude, thumbs up. Um, <laughs> Old Tower is definitely a thumbs up. This one's a solid ass game. Beautiful. Music's nice, you know, all that stuff. Deborah, it's all good. It's all good. I think I, I recall your name. I think I recall your name. Don't you have like another account or something? I think, unless I'm thinking of somebody else. That little Medusa game is on uh, the NES. Um, it says 16-bit. Yeah, it does say 16-bit. This is the NES version. I guess they, uh, I don't know why they put 16-bit there. Uh, Super Painter? I'll give this one a thumbs up too. Platformer, but it's not. It's a puzzler, just like the rest of these games. These are all puzzlers. So, so far we have one, two, three, four puzzlers. And then Tanzer definitely gets a huge, a huge uh, thumbs up. That's a real solid game. Very, very, uh, you know, you got to use those save states though. That's the thing. Um, so those are my, uh, my thumbs up, thumbs in the middle, thumbs down 
you know, this solid cart, um, my favorites, Justice Duel, Old Towers, Tanser. Those are my top three picks on this cart. Top three. <sighs> yeah, so we've been streaming for a little under two hours today. Um, we'll be streaming again. What is tomorrow? Friday? Maybe Friday. Maybe this weekend. I don't know. Um, I do have a few other videos to work on, little product reviews and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm just thinking of other things too, because I don't like just doing product reviews. Product reviews, I'll be honest with you, um, unless it's like something I'm super excited about, can get a little boring for me. Um, it just depends on what it is. Um, but like, I don't want to just like, it's, it's, it's not that it's boring. It's just, I don't want to, every single uploads a product review that gets boring to me. I want to have other things mixed up. So like talking about like maybe something that interests me in the news. I don't like to look at websites be like, Oh, this is the newest thing that happened. Let me talk about that. I only do news stuff if it really interests me, but um, you know, hoping to find some interesting things to talk about, maybe come up with some other unique videos to do. I, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure what people are interested in. Like, these are my favorite games on this system. I don't know if people like that kind of stuff or I don't know. I got to come up with some ideas on things. So that, that's, that's what I'm working on. Trying to come up with ideas to, to be more so beyond just product reviews. Cause I mean, I do a lot of product reviews, but I do mix it up as well. So that's all I'm working on. I was trying to figure out what, what's next, what's next. There's so much stuff I could do, but what's next. Arcade Stick Pro Hack News. I mean, just to unlock all the uh, hidden games and then um, the one that we covered putting in uh, like all those classic systems on it. I haven't seen anything else that's more streamlined than that, though. I, I, I was hoping. Stephen McFly, yeah, but we're almost, we're almost done. We're almost done here. Some game reviews. Makoto, see, here's the thing. It's like I don't like doing game reviews. I like doing the... Um, like the passer plays or the first impressions of stuff because a lot like I don't feel it's fair to review a game unless you spend all the time to play through it and you know I don't get games early for the most part occasionally I do but not usually so then it's kind of like you get a little you know you get behind you got to play through a game and then post a review I I don't I'm, I don't consider myself a video game reviewer but I do like doing the like hey passer play let me play this for a bit and let you know if I think it's shit or if I'm going to you know, continue playing it or not. Those videos were fun. Not too many people watched them, though. Um, but, yeah. And I, I like streaming, too. So we got to mix it up. Get them streams in there any way we can. But, yeah, Frag Taster. I just like hanging with you. I'll watch, support your videos you put out. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Lil G, if you want to talk about probes, blue rooms, and ghost girls, we will watch. That was a big part of the stream the other night, man. Delivery person videos. Nobody's been jacking up my deliveries lately. Matthew Kelly, is there any non-classic retro games? Um, not saying any retro style modern games for the Evercade. Not exactly sure what you mean. non -class No, it's just all retro games or like retro, like inspired new stuff. Um, yeah, they got Xeno Crisis coming out for it. That's Sega Genesis, you know, uh, indie game. There, there's a lot of stuff, man. But I don't know what else they have in the future. I know they say they have other carts planned, but when do you think Evercade? The Evercade, I have a link in my um, description. It was removed from Amazon because of the uh, the virus stuff, but it is available for pre-order now. Again, on Amazon, they just put it back up a couple days ago with the release date, May 22nd. May 22nd. 32 Arcade Anywhere non I, I don't know. I don't upload that stuff um, to, to anywhere. They just get it, and then... Uh, they put it up, so I don't know how it's hosted. 
Hobbs TV, you're a great hack news reporter. That that kind of sounds like, oh, you're a hack news reporter. No, I know what you mean, though, like reporting the hacks and and mods and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> you're a hack. <laughs> Tom Nook, your videos and live streams are making quarantine more tolerable. I appreciate it. It's making it more tolerable for me, too. I want to see another cool color in the goatee. Uh, I don't, I don't really, I don't really have a desire to dye it other than uh, some little brush in uh, uh, shampoo darkener occasionally. So otherwise, this shit will just go completely white, man. I'm not that old, but man, facial hair. It's like I'm a grandpa. My head just straight up, you know, darkish brown. Like not that many grays, but the facial hair wants to say I'm an old ass man crazy <laughs> do some neon i have dyed my hairs and whatnot before crazy colors but i don't know i just think i got out of that this game is available on what console uh it's tensors on uh the sega genesis the game beaters you're pretty quiet but you appreciate the streams hey i appreciate you coming in man and hanging out A lot of interesting games here. A lot of interesting games. You think should just continue to show off things you find cool or interesting. Those are my favorites. Yeah, I mean, I got so much I could just do videos on, but it's just like sometimes it's like, okay, what 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 am I in the mood for? What am I in the mood for? Logjammers is a bitch of a game though. Logjammers. That game is tough, man. That game is freaking redonks. Yeah, I'd say I got to be in the mood for certain things. Like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I put off product reviews because I'm just like, I'm not feeling it. I don't want to do a product review. I want to find something else to do. And then companies get mad. Uh, like, I, I don't get that much stuff sent to me, but the stuff I do get sent, sometimes I'm just like, okay, well, I got something more interesting to do. Um, Matthew Nix, thoughts on ETA Prime? I don't have any thoughts. <laughs> I know the guy, but I mean, what do you want me to say? I have nothing against him. This game is is, is ridiculous, man. I'm going to go with the Mayo Monsoon this time. Styles Gaming, what up? Riker Crest, I don't even know what you said this time, man. I don't know what you said, Deborah. Got him. See, he got me already. Got look, look how quick these uh, these things go, man. See, that looked like it should have went in. See, like, that should have went in. Javier Morales, what up? Left, right, left, right, launch. That's what I was trying to do, but it's like... Loser, get good, son. Fast feet, those are the achievements. Oh my god, dude. I gotta, I gotta play this one more time. This is, this is ridiculous. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, it's a vertical wind jammers. <sighs> man, this. Yeah, okay, he won the set. I, I get it, man. 
Oh my god. And this game is a little touchy, too. How'd I turn purple? What does that do? There's no way. He's already got me, man. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta like really focus on this one, man. Oh, I got him once. I would say about the same as, but I don't. Mark or Mike uh, Sinar. Sinar. I'm not sure how to say your name, but um, I mean you're not emulating. Like, I mean you're emulating, but you're not adding games to this thing. Zachary, appreciate that. Exotica, Dommel, I don't know who that is, but oh, okay. A Yacht Club Games cart. Yeah, that would be that would be dope. This game is, uh, I'm a loser and I got fast feet. I start to exit. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. A Yacht Club game. Heart. That would be interesting. Michael Bailey, appreciate that. I don't know what Zachary was trying to accomplish here, but exotic, exotica, damel, the mall. All right. That's your dollar ninety nine, man. <sighs> What's good, West? Man, it's raining. It's been kind of cold, a little cold, like in the forties. Whoever thumbs thumbs down Soldier Boy consoles, whoever thumbs down needs to get laid. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Michael Bailey, appreciate that. Hmm. I'm digging this, but I don't really like playing this system like this plugged into a TV. But this is the way I have to do it to showcase games to you guys. I do really enjoy playing this. Sitting around, you know handheld mode um really looking forward to them eventually releasing a console version with controllers pop in these evercade retro you know cartridges and start playing that way that would be cool that would be cool but yeah i think we gotta we gotta start wrapping it up so i'll just no no more games for now no more games for now unless i just randomly pick it up bada bing appreciate the subscription Unless I just randomly pick a game, but we got a few more minutes to chat. So before we end it, we'll wrap this up at two hours. So about five minutes left. About that five minute mark. Let's see what you guys got to say, man. We'll wrap it up by chit chatting, which we've been doing the whole time anyway, but. Klaxo Squid Kitty, the Evercade is a retro handheld device that plays cartridges um, that they get licensed that have, you know, officially licensed games on them. So it's collections on cartridges. Um, pretty neat. Yeah, if they did like a dock, but then like, how would it interface with this? I'm not sure if the um, USB port has data on it. Um I don't think so. I think it's just straight to the battery. Uh, Mark Dillo, appreciate the subscription. Um, I don't see how they could dock this. It would be interesting if they did, but I, I don't know. Looking forward to more. We'll be streaming this again another day or maybe just a quick video. I'm not sure for this device, but we'll be streaming again. I'm just not sure what we'll stream, <laughs> but we will be hanging out again pretty soon. I uh, just wanted to showcase this Mega Cat Studios collection. Um, out of the 10 carts that are going to be available, this is one of my top three favorite carts. I really like the Pico cart, this one, and the Technos cart. 
Um, I've also been playing the Data East one a bit as well. Bada bing, really appreciate that. Find your channel really useful. Just unlock all 20 games on the arcade stick, on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Yeah, that's a must, man. Instead of waiting for them to, to put out the unlock keys, just unlock all 20 of them. <laughs> they originally Neo Geo, or not Neo Geo, SNK, they blocked me on Twitter. Find your channel really useful, <laughs> man. Just unlocked all 20 games on my in arcade stick using your video. Steven McFly, it's all good, man. It's all good. Appreciate it, though. Um, but yeah, SNK, they blocked me on Twitter for promoting that you can unlock all 20 games. And uh, then I was like, hey, why, you know, these guys are blocking me. These guys are blocking me because I'm showing people how to unlock all the included games. And then I think somebody had told them something and they unblocked me like the next day or later that day, maybe. But yeah, they got upset with me. Um, they got upset. <laughs> Always getting these companies blocking me on Twitter for some strange reason. Well, I mean, it's not any strange reason. I guess I understand, but it's just like, what what's blocking me going to do? I'm still going to share the information, right? <sighs> Yeah. So, hey, guys, I think... Oh, shit. Almost, like, destroyed my uh, keyboard here. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end it now. I do appreciate you guys. We'll be streaming again next couple days or so. Videos coming up. Uh, hey, thanks a ton. Uh, bada bing. Appreciate that again, man. Maybe we'll... I don't know. We got to stream something. We'll figure something out for another day. Turbo Mini from Amazon Japan. Damn right, Turbo Mini is pretty dope. Maybe we'll get back on the Turbo Mini again. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a poll out there um, on my community tab or something. Like, hey, what do we stream next? See what you guys got to say. But really do appreciate everybody who hanged out with me. The Game Beaters, really do appreciate it. Tony Hayden, Robo Mezzer owner. Always first in the chat, man. Appreciate you. Always. Um, Jerome, appreciate it. Frag Taster, definitely appreciate it. Soldier Boy Consoles. <laughs> really do appreciate it. Bada bing. Big thumbs up, man. Javier Morales. Thank you. Lil G's streams. Indecision. Appreciate you guys. I can't go through everybody, but I do appreciate all you guys. Claxo Squid Kitty. Thank you. Justin Weedrick. Appreciate it. Michael Bailey. Who else do we got up in here? Juan Dude. Thank you. Zachary. Thank you. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people here today. Um, a lot of familiar faces. So thanks a ton. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom. Bye. Later. Let me um let me actually end the stream, right? <laughs> oh shit. I started recording instead of stopping the stream.